This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck. It is a 2005 Ford F-250 crew cab short bed. It's a 60 turbo diesel, it's four wheel drive, and it's a Lariat, which is leather. Um, it was a dealer trade into a dealer in Riverside, California. And in Riverside, California, they're always really nice vehicles, and this is no exception. Um, because of the miles, because it had 236,000 miles, we thought we'd make it more sellable and a little bit safer for the public to buy by bulletproofing it before we sold it. So, my guys hand me the notes. Here's what we did. It's uh, been bulletproofed. Uh, we did a bulletproof EGR cooler. We did a four, new Ford oil cooler, um, new IPR. That comes with a Rotella oil and uh, filter. All the gaskets uh, are new and coolant is new. Um, number seven injector wasn't firing exactly correctly. It wasn't showing on the scanner, but it wasn't perfect. So we did replace number seven injector. Passenger mirror wasn't working, that got replaced. Um, also, as you guys, most of you people know, most people take their cats off. So there's no catalytic converter on this vehicle. Um, if you're an Arizona buyer, you must have one and you will add $375 to the deal to buy one. Um, we don't put them on because a lot of times these vehicles will go out of the country. People buy from us on eBay, they can go to, uh, we had one go to Tortola in the Caribbean. They don't need them there. Okay, so we'd be buying something that no one needs. So we don't do that anymore. If you need one in your state and you want one to go on it, it's a very good price at 375. We'll have it put on before it leaves, but add 375. If you're an Arizona buyer, it's mandatory. You will add that. Okay. Um, I'm gonna walk around and show you what's going on here. I think at one time both the fenders have this stuff going on, and that usually means that somebody had like big mud flaps here and then they took them off and uh, weren't gentle. That's how you get that on both spots, on both fenders. You'll see on the passenger fender, it's the same thing. It's got BFG all-terrain uh, TAs, and I'd say they're probably 50 or 60% tread. A little scuff here. Some really minor stuff. You do have a block heater cable right there. Uh, my brother will take this thing out next. He will do a uh, probably 50 to 70 HD pictures uh, in that gallery you will see a little device looks like a little uh, magnifying glass see how this those mud flaps come like that so if you wanted to make that go away just get some mud flaps on it um, anyway you click on that little magnifying glass you'll be able to zoom in on what you have, whatever you see There'll be pictures of the undercarriage, but people like to see it in the video also. So there you go. Typical uh, West Coast car. You get the fade on the uh, on the moldings like that, right? Very typical. I mean, cosmetically, it's a pretty good looking truck, but it's not perfect. If you're buying, if you're trying to buy a, a cosmetically beautiful truck that has 230,000 miles on it, uh, you're probably not sane, especially when they're diesel. People use their trucks. Little ding here, little ding there. Um, so this is not going to be your truck. Uh, you're going to have to get under 100,000 miles to get what you want. Um, but if you want something that's uh, had the bulletproofing done to the motor, um, then this would be a good one. At some point, somebody did a spray and bed liner here, and then they painted it silver. Uh, I would say a can of spray, silver spray paint might be a good idea to spruce it up a little bit. It's got a little crack right here in the lens. Not worth the uh, $80 lens, in our opinion, so we didn't do it. When I Before I even bought this truck, that was the plan, was to bulletproof it. So it didn't matter if it ran great or ran poorly or what it ran like. It was going to get bulletproofed before it even got here. We knew that. It's because of the miles. And because we knew for a 200,000 mile truck, it'd be pretty straight and clean, and it was. So there's your faded molding all the way around. That's proof that the car's been in a sunny climate. 236,301 miles. Yeah. All right, people always wanna know what the Kelly is on them. So we're doing that for people now. There's the Kelly Blue Book. Lariat, short bed, 236,000 miles.
Kelly says 13,411. Now that would be a number based on that much, that many miles on the motor. Having bulletproofed it, it would, if they knew it was bulletproofed, it would probably add several thousand dollars to that number. But as far as Kelly's concerned, they don't know that and they don't care. So that is what the Kelly is, 13,411. All these options will be in the uh, in the ad, um, so you don't need to stare at that in my video. It'll be in the ad, you'll be able to see it there. I'm gonna take off the uh, oil cap, we're gonna look for blow-by. There should be very little, if any, now that we bulletproofed it. None. Oh, and I dropped the oil cap. Now I gotta come back and get it later. All right. There's a the Ford stamp there. Ford stamp there. Ford stamp there. Ford stamp there. New coolant bottle. Uh, I went through everything that's new under the hood. And now I gotta remember to pick up the oil cap, which is now on the ground because I dropped it. Window, door locks, heated seat on and off, forward, back, up, and down, tilt up, and down, up, and down. Seat works great. Good shape, good condition in the seat. That's fine there. Headliner looks excellent. You have your manuals, you have a wheel lock key, all that stuff in there. That all looks great. And I locked the door. Which is why I leave this door open when I do videos because I lock myself out just about every time. All right, well, let's do this door. I'll go back and do the other side. These videos are not designed to sell the vehicle. As you can tell, I'm not. If I was trying to sell it, I'd just start over again and blah blah blah. But I'm not trying to doll this thing up in my video. I'm not trying to BS. I'm just trying to give you what's going on so that you can make a good decision. The beauty of our, of our business is that we don't have to sell it. By the way, something heavy was in this tailgate and rolled back into it, so you got a little bow in it. Um, the best way to deal with that is to buy a louver tailgate for about 250 bucks, and that'll work, or just deal with that. There, now it's unlocked. Um, we'll have 500 to 1,000 people a day see our vehicles online, especially this truck. When they see the word bulletproof, it gets mobbed. Um, so we don't need to put the wrong person in the right vehicle. Brick and mortars have to, if they get one guy a month to get in this car, in this truck, they need to sell it to that guy. That may be the only guy. Well, we have plenty of people who will see this truck. So the goal for us is the opposite of their goal. <laughs> the goal for us is to make sure we don't sell it to somebody who shouldn't own it. Somebody doesn't understand it. There's your mirror out, in, down, up, other side, that's a new one on the other side, in, up, down, that works fine, uh, there's off, on, forward, back, up, down, tilt up, and down, tilt up, and down, I can see here that our mobile repair guy has done some work from like right here, to about here. This was probably split and he filled it. Um, let's see, we've got a tilt wheel. That works fine. Uh, the air's working fine. We're almost at Halloween and we're trying to get to 100. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. What can make this uh, year worse? Hillary. That can make it worse. Alright, there's your controls here. 
So all the controls work on the dash, on the ionic steering wheel. <laughs> Over there, six disc changer. You've got air conditioning. Here's your manual controls for the AC. Going up and down. Then we have the controls here. Temperatures up and down. Fan down and up. Trailer lights and brakes and all that bull crap there. Trailer lights, I'm sorry. Brakes, what am I talking about? This is <laughs> delirious. So ready for like 80 degree temperatures and we're still trying to get to 100. It's ridiculous. There's your power window. Let's see. Toe on and off, on, off. All right, let's see. I'm gonna put it in neutral. I'm gonna go into four wheel drive, low. There's four low. Drive, that's definitely four low. And reverse and four low. Boom. All right, neutral. Four high. There we go. Now we can drive at speed and reverse in four high. Boom. Bulletproofed and ready to roll. All right, back to two wheel drive. Do a systems check for you. Put it in park like this. There. All right, let's go for a drive. If you come to Tucson Drive at home, you're gonna pay tax and dock fees. A dock fee is $250, tax is 2% city sales tax plus whatever your state tax rate is. So, if your state rate, the tax rate is five, you'll pay seven. Very simple. If you come here to drive at home, you will pay your state tax rate plus 2% city tax here plus a $250 dock fee. If you pay by wire and ship, all you pay is agreed upon price, and that's it. Uh, once you receive your wire, we will fill in the title with your name or company's name and address. Uh, notarize it, sign it off to you, uh, scan it in your online file. We'll even scan in the envelope we mail it to you in, and then we'll throw it in the mail. Once the vehicle ship, uh, arrives from the shipper that you have, pick it up. Uh, you'll already have the title in the mail, and you'll just go down to Motor Vehicles and get plates. Very simple. Um, remember, if you want a CAD on it, catalytic converter, add $375, Arizona people, that's mandatory, uh, no ifs, ands, or buts. You're welcome to take it off about five minutes after you get it done, but uh, you're paying 375 to do it. Uh, we get a little blowback once in a while on that, and it is the law, and we're not breaking it. All right, um, what else? Deposit's $500, once we have a deposit, we have a deal, until then it is for sale. Please make sure you get your deposit in. This is a uh, 07, bulletproofed 0760. It's pretty straight, pretty clean. It's not perfect cosmetically, but it's a pretty nice truck. Um, they don't do, do not grow on trees for the price you're gonna be able to buy this for, okay? In fact, they're probably, probably nobody's bulletproofing 200,000 mile plus motors. Um, that's kind of a niche we're gonna try to fill here. And uh, uh, but just make sure you get your deposit. Uh, there's gonna be people all over this truck and we wouldn't want you to miss out because you're not ready. Um, let's see, last part of this thing would be the warranty speech. It's a 236,000 mile truck, okay? And you just saw us doing 60 and a 35, which is really a good idea. It's a, it's a 236,000 mile truck, uh, and it's, what, 10 years old? It's out of warranty by miles and years by a long way by Ford standards. If they could have given it a longer warranty, they would have. They would have sold more of them faster and for a lot more money. They didn't because they didn't know what would happen after that many miles or years. We don't know more than the people who built it, so please remember that we are not writing checks for things that are broken. If they're broken the first day, uh, if they're broken the minute they come off the shipping truck, we're not writing checks. Uh, we try to give all as much information as we can in the videos, in the uh, text of the ad, the gallery of pictures, but at the end of the day, we're not Nostradamus. We do not know when it's going to break. Um, we didn't replace everything in the motor. Uh, we didn't replace all the injectors. We didn't replace the transmission, blah, 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 all right? So, you know, all we did was bulletproof the motor, okay? Uh, if it breaks, you're fixing it. If you don't like that idea, please don't buy anything from us because we don't have anything that we can say is perfect, okay? And we're not writing checks for anything, all right? Anyway, that's the tough love part of it. The good part of it is this is a hell of a truck and I drive it to Maine right now, all right? Uh, thank you for your time.